Hello and welcome back to my channel. The reason that I'm currently sat here surrounded by stuff is because today I thought I would talk you through what I'm planning to take with me for six and a half weeks backpacking up the east coast of Australia. So by the time that this video is uploaded, I will actually already be in Australia. So make sure that you go and follow my Instagram because I post up to date stories and posts over there. Whereas all of the videos that I upload will be a few weeks behind just because obviously it takes more time for me to edit them. So this will be my first ever backpacking trip. I have been away for this long before. Hawaii in Canada was also about five weeks long, but I took a suitcase and I took a rucksack, so I had a lot more space to bring everything that I wanted to bring. Whereas in Australia, I am just bringing this 60 litre Osprey backpack and my small Eastpac backpack. So I am a lot more limited on what I can bring. I still may have lots of irrelevant things Things and things that I just won't end up using. But as I said, I've never really been on a trip like this before, so it is gonna be a case of trial and error. I'm gonna go through this big one first. So this is a 60 liter Osprey backpack. It is the Aerial Plus, and I bought this specially for the trip because I didn't have a rucksack prior to this that was this big and kind of made for backpacking trips. And the reason that I decided to go for this one is I thought it was firstly a good size. I don't think I could personally carry any bigger than 60 litres. This is already huge on my back. It's really, really a good quality and it also has a detachable day backpack. So this lid here actually completely detaches from the rucksack and I'm going to use this on a daily basis to put my stuff in. So there's no need for me to completely unpack this bag or my other bag. So I've kept this compartment empty for that purpose. However, I'm just going to unclip it and show you what I've got in from the top downwards. So firstly, at the top of my rucksack is my toiletries bag. And in here I have some mini shampoos. I've got my deodorant. I've got perfume. But what I wanted to specifically talk to you about is the skincare that I'm going to be taking on this trip because I feel like skincare can be one of the first things to go out of the window when you're traveling and obviously it's not very convenient to take like 10 different skincare products so instead I am going to be taking my Skin and Me daily doser with me and Skin and Me have also very kindly sponsored today's video. So they provide personalized powerful skincare that can contains active ingredients you can't actually buy over the counter but the product is designed by dermatologists and all of the ingredients and the concentrations in your daily dosa are completely tailored to your skin and your skin goals. So this daily dosa lasts you about a month and every month or every few months your ingredients and concentrations in here will evolve to match the changes that are happening in your skin and all you have to do to get this completely personalized skincare routine is fill out an online consultation form and one of the dermatology team at Skin and Me will actually come up with a completely personalized treatment plan for you. So you don't need to personally worry about the different combinations of things and the different combinations of products and ingredients that you might need. It's all done for you. And then everything is combined into this daily dosa. So it's absolutely perfect for traveling because it's literally one product that is personalized to your skin. The only other things you need are some moisturizer, some cleanser, and some sun cream. So I'm gonna be taking with me these little travel size versions of the Skin and Me cleanser and also the Skin and Me moisturizer.
organizer. I've got a couple of these in my toiletries bag. So the reason that this is called a daily doser is because you actually twist this silver bit here and it dispenses the perfect amount for one application. So you can be sure that this is gonna last you the whole month before your next daily doser is shipped to you. So you never have to worry about running out. So as I mentioned before, all you need to do to get started is fill out the online consultation. It's basically just a questionnaire about your skin and your skin goals. And you also need to upload some makeup free photos. So the skincare experts at Skin and Me can properly assess your skin. So my personal goals were to tackle the slight redness that I get in my face. Also combat my kind of spot problem areas such as my chin and also just to ensure that my skin generally looks healthy and glowy. And what I've been loving so far since starting my Skin and Me treatment is not only how my skin is looking, I am really happy with the appearance of it right now, apart from this scab on my chin that is like the bane of my life. But on the whole, I feel like my skin does look a lot healthier and glowy and the redness has reduced quite a bit. But I'm also really enjoying how quick my skincare routine is now. I no longer need to faff around with loads of different products. All I do in the evenings is cleanse, apply my daily doser and put some moisturizer on. So it's gonna be absolutely perfect for traveling too when I, one, don't have a lot of space in my backpack and two, probably won't have a lot of time or energy to do a really long complex skincare routine. So if you wanna try Skin and Me out for yourself, then it's actually a subscription-based service. And if you click the link that I'll put on the screen and in the description and use the code lydiav 8 why you can get your first month for £3.50. So that was my main toiletries bag and everything in there I use pretty much every day. But then I also have a second toiletries bag that has a few products in that I don't need every day, but will be useful for me to have on the trip. So in here, I've got my menstrual cup. I've got a few emergency pads and tampons. I've got some antihistamines, some Rennies. I've got some cream for cuts and scratches. I've also got some cream for bites. I've got some plasters in here, some razor heads, and that is pretty much it, I think. Also at the top of my bag, I have my headband that I always put on when I'm doing my skincare. And I also have my vitamins that I take every day and some digestive enzymes. Then this is quite an inconvenient thing to be carrying around with me, but I have a whole little bag full of contact lenses. I really should have gone and got monthly contact lenses before this trip, but unfortunately I didn't get around to it. So instead I've got enough daily contact lenses to last me my entire trip, which now takes up a lot of space, but obviously this will hopefully reduce over time. Okay, now on to clothes. So the first thing that I've pulled out here is I think my pajamas and my swimwear. So I'm taking one pair of pajamas only because I'm hoping that I'll be able to do laundry about once a week. And I'm also taking two bikinis. So I've got this green one, this blue one, and my actual swimsuit because I thought this would probably be good if we're going scuba diving. I'm not sure if they'll provide wetsuits or anything. So this just feels a lot more secure. Everything is in packing cubes, by the way, because it makes it so much easier to actually find things in your bag because I can just pull out these instead of having to go through everything. The next packing cube contains my underwear. So as I mentioned, because I'm really hoping there's laundry services everywhere we go, I'm not actually taking that many pairs of socks and underwear because I find socks especially take up so much space. So I'm taking three pairs of white socks and two pairs of black socks. And then I think I've got eight pairs of underwear and then 
four pairs of these slightly bigger pants that I wear when I'm on my period. Then the next packing cube is my tops. So in here, I've got a white shirt that I thought would be quite good to throw over in the evenings and it can be dressed up, it can be dressed down. It also doesn't take up that much space in my bag. It's worth mentioning, by the way, that we are actually going to Australia in their winter. So that's made it a lot harder to pack because I have had to bring some warmer items that obviously take up more space in the bag. Although as we go up the coast, the further north we get, I think the warmer it does get. So that's why I'm still bringing quite a few shorts and t-shirts. So next we have this oversized t-shirt and I wore this all the time when we were in Hawaii to go to the beach because it's actually Sid's and he gave it to me, but it's super, super big on me. So it covers my bum and I can basically wear it as just one item of clothing. I don't need to put shorts underneath it or anything. So I thought that would be useful again when we're going to the beach. I then have this nude halter neck top that fits me really well. It's really comfy and it goes with everything. You'll notice that most of my clothing is white, gray, maybe green or blue and nude. And the reason for that is so everything goes together. I've then got a few sporty tops in here. So I've just got this black tank top. It rolls up super, super small. And I end up wearing sports clothes a lot when I'm traveling just because I find it really comfy. I then have this green tank top from Tala. And this is honestly so versatile. I wear this hiking and I also wear this on nights out because it's really flattering actually. I have two sports bras to wear under those tank tops. So I've just got this really basic one from H&M that folds up really small and this dark gray black one from Gymshark. I also have this very lightweight Patagonia shirt and this is the kind of material that dries really quickly and I swear this never smells no matter how much I sweat in it. So it's great for hikes. Then for more everyday casual tops, I've got this beige tank top from Zara and I've also got the same tank top in white, although this is turning more gray now the more I wash it. I have a plain white t-shirt. This is just a very regular fit to be honest. And I'm also going to be flying in this stripy t-shirt just because it's really comfy and it's a good length for putting over the top of leggings and things like that. So that is all of my tops. I don't know if that's an excessive amount to bring with me, but that kind of felt like the logical amount for me and tops don't really take up that much space. The next packing cube is all of my bottom this is the biggest packing cube and I have had to already take quite a few things out of here that I was going to bring but the things that I am left with are this pair of linen trousers. I wore linen trousers all the time in Hawaii and Canada because they're really comfy but they can be dressed up, they can be dressed down so I thought they would also be useful in Australia. So I've got a beige pair and I've also got a white pair. I didn't wear these as much so I'm still deciding whether to take them or not because they are slightly see-through but I thought when we're at the more kind of beachy places and I've got a bikini underneath it wouldn't be too bad and they are really really comfy and lightweight. Another thing I'm still debating whether or not to take is this pair of more silky wide leg trousers. Once again these are super comfy and they never seem to crease which is great in a backpack and I thought with these that they could also be dressed up if I go on any nights out. I'm not going to take any jeans with me. I was initially going to take my wide leg jeans but I find that they take up so much space and I do gravitate more to my wide leg trousers or my leggings because they're just comfier so I think I'm not going to take any jeans which feels kind of rogue for me but hopefully it'll be fine. And in terms of 
of the leggings that I am taking, I am taking this pair of Tala Skin Looks Leggings in Ocean Green. I wore these all the time in Canada, especially when we were hiking and cycling, so I don't doubt that I'm gonna wear them again in Australia. On the flight, I am also wearing my Tala Army Green Leggings, I think. Once again, super comfy, super lightweight, and I wear these all the time. Moving on to shorts. This is a category that I'm not sure if I've got too many of because I've got this pair of super comfy Adidas shorts. I've got this pair of Tala Skin Looks cycling shorts, which I wore all the time once again when I was hiking and cycling in Canada. I've got this pair of Gymshark grey shorts that match the sports bra that I just showed you. I've got this pair of denim shorts and I've got this pair of sage green linen shorts that are super comfy but also look a bit more formal. So I don't know if that's too many but they all have different purposes which makes me think I need them all. I wish this video was going up slightly earlier because then you guys could tell me if I'm bringing too much but unfortunately by the time this is going up as I said I'll already be in Australia but shorts really don't take up that much space so that's why I'm not too bothered about it and then in terms of jackets the only thing I'm bringing is this hoodie that I bought in Canada when we're in Tofino because it's super warm and it's super comfy I don't know if only bringing one hoodie or jacket is gonna be a good idea because it is the Australian winter and I'm really not sure how cold it's gonna get in in the evenings or anything like that but I did think that if I really need another one I could probably buy one when I'm out there somewhere and I didn't want to bring too many with me because these are obviously the bulkiest item and I'm gonna be wearing this on the plane so it doesn't take up too much space in my bag so that was everything in the main pocket of my rucksack but in the bottom pocket down here I've got my shoes so on the flight there and when we're traveling between places I'm gonna be wearing my Adidas trainers I think these are Adidas gazelles or something like that but they're a super comfy pair of trainers and I can walk long distances in them and they're actually quite lightweight so perfect for traveling and then the only other pairs of shoes I'm bringing with me are my trusty Birkenstocks these are coming to the end of their life I think because I've absolutely rinsed these all summer but they are so comfy and honestly I could walk miles in these and be absolutely fine so I feel like they're a really good day-to-day -day shoe for traveling but the only problem is these aren't waterproof so I'm also bringing with me this pair of flip-flops or sandals that I brought in Hawaii because they're super flat they really don't take up that much room when they're kind of pushed together like that and they are waterproof and then in the front pocket of my bag here I have this microfiber towel so this is one that I bought from Trespass and I bought a microfiber one because as you can see they firstly pack up super small and they also dry really quickly but this is actually a really decent sized towel it's kind of a normal bath towel size and then I also brought this tiny little one that I thought was so cute but the reason reason that I bought this one is because I thought I would just use this as a face towel so in the evenings when I'm just doing my skincare but I'm not having a shower I can just use this and it means that my big towel isn't getting consistently wet and it's also got this clip inside so I could actually clip this to the outside of my bag when I'm traveling if it needs drying and then on the other side of this pocket here I have a fold up anorak so if you watch the Canada vlogs, I always took the piss out of Sid for his fold out anorak, but it is a very useful thing to have. So I bought the exact same one as him, just in a slightly different color. This one is a navy color. And once again, like the microfiber towel, it's in this really useful bag that means it packs up really small, but then it folds out like this 
and you've got a really stylish anorak. So actually, I suppose I do have this along with the hoodie. So I do have two jackets, but I think it is forecasted to rain a lot in the first few weeks that we're in Australia. So I imagine this is gonna be really useful. So that was everything that is in my big bag here. However, I'm also taking my trusty Eastpac rucksack with me as well on my front. So this bag will actually go as check-in luggage and this bag is gonna be my carry-on luggage. And in here, we literally just have loads of tech. I wanted to keep all of my most valuable things with me because if you've been following me on Instagram, you'll know that on the way back from Canada, my luggage actually got momentarily lost and it was really quite scary. But luckily I had all of my valuables in my carry-on luggage. So I didn't lose anything super valuable. In here at the back, we have my laptop and my iPad. I'll have my camera in here, but I'm currently filming on it. I've got a tripod iPod in here. I've got my headphones in this case here. And then this is something that I bought recently for this trip. So this is a cables bag essentially. And it basically just keeps all of my different cables organized. So at the top, I've got my Apple Watch charger, my phone charger, a charger that connects my laptop to my iPad or my phone. I've got my SD card adapter. I've got my microphone in here. Here. I've got an Australian adapter. I've got my hard drive. I've got my laptop charger and I love this because I really find it quite annoying when cables are just loose in my bag. I think they take up so much space actually. So having them all in this is so convenient and it means I can just pull this out and find the cable that I want without everything getting super tangled in my bag and taking up lots of space. Also in this bag in the front part Pocket. I have an eye mask that I bought for this trip. I've got some face masks, my glasses, my sunglasses, my passport, obviously, my purse, my AirPods, my house keys, a little mirror brush thing, some hair clips. These are some headphones that they give you on the plane, actually. I've got my Apple Pencil, a nail file. That was a pen that I just dropped. A pair of tweezers, another hair bubble, another hair bubble, and some gum. So yeah, that is everything that I am bringing with me to Australia. A massive thank you to Skin and Me for sponsoring this video. If you do fancy trying them out, then make sure to click the link in the description and use the code LydiaV8Y to get your first daily doser for only £3.50. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe because all of the videos after this are going to be the Australia vlogs. I think there's going to be about five or six and you can see what I actually end up using in the vlogs, what I don't end up using. So yeah, make sure to stick around and also make sure to follow me on my Instagram. As I said at the start of the video, I will be posting live stories and updates over there. There. So if you want to be completely up to date, then that is the place to be. But for now, I will see you in the next video. Bye!